entertainment news this morning. Dean Richards reviewing a movie about a wild bear who got into some illicit drugs. Check it out. A lot of cocaine was lost. I need you to go and get it. No, 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 don't eat that, don't eat that. A bear did cocaine. Based on a true story, very, very, very loosely based on a true story, comes the soon-to-be classic cocaine bear. In 1985, a black bear found and consumed a million-dollar package of blow that was dumped into a forest from a plane doing a drug deal. In real life, the bear died from an overdose, but here, humans in the way of this four-legged, coked-out beast are the ones that are in danger of dying. And that is where any serious discussion of this movie needs to end, because Cocaine Bear is mostly a comedy, a scary, bloody, completely irreverent comedy. Little is taken seriously in this story that's filled with one rich character after another who are either clumsily searching for the bricks of coke that they dumped into the woods or just happen to have the bad luck of being in the woods when a 500-pound black bear consumes enough of the powder that would make Scarface envious. Elizabeth Banks turns in her best directorial job yet in keeping the action exciting while always acknowledging the absurdity here. It's even more impressive when you understand that the bear in the movie is 100% digitally created. The actors had to imagine seeing it in their clever tongue-in-cheek performances, including Ray Liotta's final role before his death last year. This really is the perfect alternative to all the way-too-serious Oscar-nominated movies that are out right now. Sometimes you just want something that you know is ridiculous, that the filmmakers know is ridiculous. Sometimes you just want to not engage your brain and have some fun. Now, while real cocaine addiction is no laughing matter, Cocaine Bear is an R-rated 90 minutes of mindless scares and silliness. It's a Dean's List B in theaters only. His house has a very good vibe. And for the first days of Lent, there's the faith-based Jesus Revolution, a different kind of movie about spirituality. Rarely do you see a movie like this that is a time capsule back to the 1970s telling a story of a group of Jesus Saves Hippies who team up with the square minister whose local congregation is dwindling away. Together, the unlikely pair light a spiritual spark that caught on all over America, making the gospel more relatable to younger generations, giving pop culture, movies, and music like Godspell and Jesus Christ Superstar. Joel Courtney and Fraser's Kelsey Grammer co-star in this Woodstockish take on pre-Easter faith-based films. It's a Dean's List B, only in theaters. Well, you can always get my movie reviews and home video picks sent right to your phones every week just by texting the word Dean to 97999. Hope you have a great weekend in Chicago. I'm Dean Richards.